A healthy heart pumps regularly at various levels of exertion and coinciding heart rates. Cardiac arrest occurs when the heart stops pumping correctly. Chaotic electrical activity throughout the heart causes uncontrollable fluttering or ventricular fibrillation. The heart beats erratically, no longer pumping oxygen-rich blood around the body, which starts to shut down. Automated external defibrillators are designed to shock the heart back into its normal rhythm. Placing two monitoring electrodes on the chest, the AED measures the electrical activity of the heart, analyzes the cardiac rhythm, and determines whether a shock should be administered. AEDs are also designed to shock ventricular tachycardia, or VTAC, rhythms. The heart rhythm is organized, but rapid. The heart rate does not allow the chambers to fill with enough blood to produce a sufficient blood flow. The pulseless VTAC is also considered a shockable rhythm by AEDs. The AED will charge up and advise a shock. However, shocking is inappropriate since the patient has a pulse and is awake. This is an important reason AEDs should be attached only to patients in cardiac arrest. PEA occurs in 15 to 20 percent of cardiac arrest cases. The heart muscle fails, although the electrical rhythm remains, usually indicating severely or terminally damaged heart muscle. It may also indicate that a patient has lost too much blood. Defibrillation cannot help because the heart's rhythm is organized and slow. In the remaining 20 to 50 percent of cardiac arrest victims, the heart ceases generating electrical impulses, an unshockable condition called asystole or flatline. The patient is unconscious with no pulse or respiration.